It's Thanksgiving time once again, ladies and gentlemen. And last year I had posted a video about the death of Thanksgiving, but this year with the installation of the new series, The Thought Buffet, here on the Cover Killer Nation channel, I opted to do a secondary video which is based around something uh, that I actually typed and posted on my personal Facebook page on November the 23rd of this year. So as of the date of this recording, it was yesterday that I posted it. Depending on when you were watching this, of course, depends upon how long ago it was. Now, the one thing I will say prior to going on with this video is that if it appears that I am reading a little bit, that is because I am. Uh, this is something that as I continue to write it, word for word, I realized that this is something that not only needed to be seen by just a few folks that would actually take the time to uh, really read it on my Facebook page, this was also something that the world needed to hear uh, via this uh, YouTube channel, so... Please, if it seems as though I'm reading a little bit, continue on with the video because the message really right here is what is uh, the most important thing. So let's get started. And, and I really hope, uh, actually, since we're starting this, that you have a snack. I really do. Uh, this one may actually take a while. I'm going to try to condense it a little bit for the video, but um, I'm not exactly sure how well I'm going to be able to do that, but we're going to do our best. But... Um, uh, over the past couple of weeks, I've been learning about a lot of uh, establishments, Black Friday's hours. Um, uh, in short, very few of these hours are going to be beginning on Black Friday at all, uh, with most of them opening either at midnight uh, of Black Friday, which kind of makes sense. But an alarming number of these are now opening at uh, either 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving, with some even earlier than that, uh, such as 2 p.m. that afternoon. Uh, my store, I work at a music store, is among the handful that are going to be opening at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving night. Uh, but before you think that I am using this video as a way to kind of attack my own store and essentially attack myself, please, I, I hope that you'll continue onward with this video because I I'm not. Uh, years ago, though, Black Friday was kind of like a sacred retail slash consumer holiday. Uh, stores took the opportunities to offer uh, great prices on potential hot Christmas items the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, because the kids were probably home from school and uh, for Thanksgiving break, and because most parents were probably able to score the day off uh, from the office. Uh, and even if they did have to work, the doorbuster sales were really too intriguing uh, to pass up. And uh, that included, it was A-OK -okay for them to wake up at the crack of dawn to take care of some early Christmas shopping before they did have to go into the office, if they indeed had to go in at all. Uh, this was insanity uh, by its own token. It really was. Uh, but it was also, in a way, a controlled insanity that offered Thanksgiving a level of reverence while also transitioning America into the season of Christmas. And you know what? That made sense. After all, the day was just spent reveling in what these folks were thankful for. So, to add on to the thanks, uh, they headed out and they decided to start Christmas shopping for those nearest and dearest to them as well as get a jump on maybe some secret Santa gifts, uh, whether it be through the... Uh, the church youth group, whether it be at the office pool or whether it be through like a homeless shelter or any other group within the community that offers such a thing. Uh, if there is not such thing in your area after you investigate this, I definitely implore some people out there to perhaps form one in their area because this is a great cause. No child should ever go without a Christmas. Uh, but now Black Friday doesn't even begin on Friday at all. Uh, Thanksgiving has become a complete wasteful joke of a holiday. Uh, noted still as such because children are home from school and government jobs are shut down, but in a sad spin of reality, Thanksgiving is no longer a holiday based around its name. Giving thanks used to be done around a table with a meal with family and friends, but now, now giving thanks has a completely different valuation to it. Now it's all about giving cash or a credit card. Now, I'm not saying this because, you know, consumerism and buying Christmas gifts is the work of satanic hellspawn, uh, but the traditions and values represented by the holiday of Thanksgiving have been completely severed. The game, folks, has changed. Now, last year, I really liked the idea of opening at midnight. Uh, sure, it may seem like a little bit of a rush job into the holiday season, that literally after the clock struck midnight, the Christmas shopping season began, but it still clearly marked the difference of days. That was just in my store, though. Other stores were already open and had been for between four to six hours. Yeah, I actually went to Kmart Thanksgiving evening at 8 p.m. They were not only wide open, but they were busy as shit. Reasons are various. Some would cite 
This would aid the crowd control and help flush out the chances of opening minute violence. So we all remember the 1990s with the Tickle Me Elmo craze, people getting shot, stabbed, and this and that trampled. Uh, some would cite preparation time for the workers. Some would even say that this was just an experiment. This is just something they wanted to try. I'm going to throw my hat in this ring of reasoning and tell you all that it is a simple idea, old as time. In fact, I'm not even going to be the one that tells you. I'm in fact going to allow the words of Mr. Gordon Gecko get a shine here and let him tell you his most famous three words. Greed is good. Now, I admit, you probably knew this answer before uh, I spoke these words, and uh, probably without ever seeing the classic film Wall Street, and the sequel's not that bad either. So, we've been in a recession. And greed is good. So, how does one advance greed in a recession? Well, instead of a level playing field, you tip the balance in your favor. Uh, in this case, you open before midnight or 5 a.m. and take advantage of anyone who's willing or stupid enough to venture out on Thanksgiving night. You take advantage of guests from other cities and towns, maybe looking for something that they couldn't find on their own little corner of the earth. Well, that'd be all well and good if this wasn't something that was perpetuated and continued by stores that pretty much sell their entire stock at most of their chains anyway. Sure, one could claim that there's a variation of all of these chains and not all areas have the same variation, but who the fuck gives someone food for Christmas? See you later, bad argument. But that's also not really the point here. The point is, these are places that are getting the bulk of the business in the first place. The people would have been there anyway. Regardless of opening time, their names are on the lips of the commonplace public already, ingrained in their heads and trained to their tongue. Plus, by comparison to small businesses, independent businesses, and specialty sectors, these stores are, for the most part, they're doing pretty well for themselves. To spare a full economics lesson right here, the bulk of the pie is being eaten by a few really, really fat fucks. Which helps very few. As opposed to the economic pie feeding the entire nation or the entire American economy. It's to the point now where if these companies eat less than last year, or to be plain about it, record softer earnings than the previous fiscal year, or to their projections, economists and financial gurus freak the fuck out and worry about the viability of an entire industry. This really stacks the deck against the small independent and specialty sector companies slash locations. Their only prayer for competition, their only prayer of continuing their life's blood and survival, in the form of relevance, of course, is to follow suit and open earlier and earlier. So what does this mean? Does this mean that in Thanksgiving of 2014, it'll just be a regular physical business day as opposed to a holiday? Much like the 4th of July, or <laughs> ironically enough, Labor Day? Don't be surprised. I'll be going to work this year at 8 p.m. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really opposed to this, to be perfectly honest, because I enjoy fighting for relevance. Uh, and I enjoy showing every person that walks through the door uh, that the place to purchase movies, music, and trend gear is at a music and movie store. It is not to be done at a massive super chain that only carries what it wants and leaves these critical areas of our culture in significant disrepair, not giving it the care that it demands. Almost like stating its unimportant and imminent death through their own lacking of care. This shouldn't be stood for. Why do we still continue to foster this? Why do we still continue to prefer convenience with limitations over specific stores with knowledgeable, thoughtful, and engaging people? Why would we rather not be bothered instead of being helped and engaged in the social mores that make us a nation that's united, a united states, instead of a divided, paranoid people, ripe with social uneasiness, awkward regrets, and unrest, and endless complaint? Why is our only trigger to converse with a store employee in the form of a complaint or an argumentative dissatisfaction? And how long do you think stores can continue to process your petty concerns with a smile without being forced to be firm? How many times have I wanted to sternly say to a customer, the shopping patterns of America, just like you, over the past 20 years, have led to this. And you blame us. More times than I could count. Quadrillions, perhaps. But even with such a ridiculous number, it bears the question 
of how it all came to this, or perhaps the more fearful question is, <laughs> where does it all go from here? Nowhere good, at least not from the looks of it. If you plan to go out on Thanksgiving Day or night, I say to you, Godspeed. My prayer is more so that you'll opt to do so uh, and do your specific shopping at places where those items would be best found instead of hoping to find every single item on your lengthy list at one and only one location. Uh, and give, and hopefully not giving up if you happen not to. I, I also hope that you at least take the time to remember what Thanksgiving is all about, beyond watching a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving or football. I, for one, uh, know the value of Thanksgiving because, well, Thanksgiving table once used to be quite filled, and it's gotten rather small in recent years. Uh, but the meaning because of that actually shines forth more than ever before. If you'd like to know actually how this concerning trend can be changed, I do actually have an answer for uh, that as well. However, I also know that it would fall on deaf ears. After all, this is the internet age. And the internet age is one that's very tone deaf. They love ideas. They love speeches like this one. But they dislike it whenever they themselves have to actually participate in the action to make a change. So I'll leave my secrets in my mind but we'll offer one piece of information. Think about when the sales are made. If you think about that, then you will know how to buck the trend. I do want to wish everybody out there a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Especially if you were nice enough to watch this video to the end, because apparently if you didn't, uh, you wouldn't be hearing this. I am thankful for each and every one of you. That's something that I must say. Uh, you all listen to my opinion, that is something you don't have to do, but have chosen to, and I appreciate that. And even if you disagree with my opinion, I am thankful that you at least watched and got all of the information. I do hope that your holiday season is fantastic, and that you have a terrific rest of your day, evening, night, whenever you may be listening to this. This is something where it affects more than just the people who work in retail. It affects more than just... Uh, the Americans that have to go into work on days in which the majority of Americans, the bulk of the shoppers, are not going to be working. This actually affects each and every one of us. It affects each and every one of us directly in our culture, in the way in which we are really kind of treating something that had a really significant and very family-oriented uh, uh, meaning to it. Something that was really to encourage us to be a little bit humble and a lot more thankful for the things that we have in our life that we really take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. Considering the fact that we are, year by year, taking a little bit more of Thanksgiving away from individuals and taking a little bit more of Thanksgiving away from, you know, ourselves, we are becoming a less humble, a less, you know, thankful nation. We are becoming a nation that is very, give me what I want, and if I don't get what I want, then you're going to be out of a job. This is the wrong perspective to have. The reason why everything felt so warm whenever you were a child, if you happen to be around my age of near 30 or greater, is because this was a day that had the reverence that it perhaps even had as of even just 10 years ago. However, in the past 10 years, that's been completely severed, it's been completely destroyed, and it's something where it really needs to change. So, I do thank you if you've watched this. Not to mention, I hope that you do have a great full Thanksgiving day as opposed to being one of these individuals that will go out and have just 12 to 14 hours of a Thanksgiving day, and the rest of it actually just become the first 12 hours of now a 36-hour Black Friday season.